Hello and welcome back to match day number 14 of the ESL Pro League North American Division season number four. We just saw NRG take it to Selfless Gaming 16-5, 16-5. A pretty convincing victory for them now. Mm. Complexity up against Echo Fox. Echo Fox have had a pretty good season. Yep. They're sitting up towards the top end of the ladder. Complexity on the other hand. Not feeling so great, perhaps, at the moment. They really need to uh, start getting some games going. And we can see the scores, 16-5, 16-5, for our first map of the day, our first two matches, even. We're starting off on a train here, and then heading over onto Mirage. Echo Fox, six wins, two losses, fourth place. Complexity, two wins, six losses, 12th place. Not so great for them this season. No, definitely not. And going up against Echo Fox is going to be another difficult challenge mm. for them. I think Echo Fox coming into this one, they have a better map pool. Uh, they'll be feeling more confident. They've, they've of course got the better wins on the board as well. So, um, looking at the the two match, uh, the two teams and matching them up, it definitely looks like Echo Fox coming in this one with a bit of an advantage. So, potential for another 2-0 coming out tonight. There is. I, I hope we're wrong. I'd love to see some closer games than we saw before. If uh, if complexity can come into this one. Is there someone on the team that can do the job and get them into this? Mm, yeah, it's hard to say. Look, I mean, we've been seeing some reasonable results uh, coming out from maybe Whitmer. But across the board, really, they're not looking all that strong individually. Uh, of course, going up against uh, the likes of Echo Fox individually, what, like man for man, Echo Fox, of course, looking a lot stronger. So it is hard to say that Complexity have any real big, big player that could come out here and come out with a big performance. When I'd be looking at Echo Fox, of course, Sean Garras... You know, he's always one to talk about, but uh, Shazam with the AWP, he's been doing well recently, and Roka, of course, uh, another strong fragger for that lineup. So definitely looking towards those two, more so than anything else, to uh, really make an impact on this game. What about these map picks? Obviously, Train and Mirage is what we're going to see. Um, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I mean, teams? they're a little surprising, I think, coming out. Uh, didn't expect really either of those maps, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. Echo Fox have been pretty good on Dust, Overpass, and Nuke lately, uh, but obviously they've decided to pick Mirage. Um, on the side of complexity, their map pool is relatively small. So uh, best case scenario probably would have been to get onto Cache, but presumably that would have been banned out by Echo Fox. So they've gone back to Train, which is not a great map for Echo Fox. But of course, uh, again, it just feels like Echo Fox as a lineup is a little bit stronger. So I, I still feel like Echo Fox has an advantage even on Train. Yeah, if, the, if there is a map that they're going to win, if the complexity can pick up, if they can make this a 1-1, mm. you're saying it's going to be Mirage? No, to be honest, I think <laughs> if, if there was a map that they could win... I would I would have to go with train because it's their pick, but really, uh, I'm, I'm not holding it. I'm not crossing my fingers. Put it that way. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully we can see something uh, a little bit better from complexity than we've seen with them, seen from them so far this season. But Echo Fox, they've been playing some good Counter Strike. They're sitting in fourth. They've got a lot of wins under their belt, and they'd certainly love to pick up another two wins tonight as well. Mm -hmm. Complexity, really, the ones here with a lot of work to be done, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. I mean, both uh, both these teams are... I mean, they're not up to the top of the North American CSGO sort of scene, but uh, Echo Fox a little bit higher there. The last time they faced, actually, uh, Echo Fox, it was a win to them in a best of three, two and one. Mm -hmm. So, of course, coming into this one with the, the past history of picking up the wins as well. So uh, it doesn't lead me to believe here that uh, Complexity are going to have the best of times. But at the very least, Complexity was able to pick up that one map there. And obviously, in this situation where we only are playing two maps, it would have been... a a 1-1. One, one. So, I mean, there's there's opportunities here for complexity. It's not over. It's definitely not over before it started. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't be hugely surprised to see a 1-1, one, one, but I think I'm leaning still a little bit more so towards a 2-0 a here for Echo Fox. That's why I personally always enjoy these two map formats where, you know, you get to pick one map, your opponents pick one. And really, if you can pick up one of those two, it's not a bad day for you. It's not about, you know, we ha oh, we had a blowout on one. And, but it doesn't matter sort of thing. Each, yeah. each, each map counts. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it does give uh, some of maybe the weaker teams a bit of a better opportunity to get in there. And those teams that maybe start slow into best of threes have a bit of a disadvantage because they can't be like, oh, we'll just drop the first map and, mm -hmm. and win out the rest of them. So uh, definitely important to pick up both the maps if, if you feel like you're the stronger team and if you want to get all the maximum points, but uh, certainly opportunities to, to grab points uh, for both teams. Yeah, certainly will. Hopefully... Again, we'll get uh, we'll get some good games out of these two teams. Complexity really need to step it up. Echo Fox have been having a good season, and uh, I'm sure they'd love to continue that form tonight. We're just waiting for one last player to jump into the server here, Elfish Guy, and then we'll get into the action. So no delay from our end intentionally here, mm. and hopefully I feel like this will probably start 
uh, in the next couple of minutes or so. Hopefully, hopefully. We did, of course, see a couple of quick maps coming out there between mm. uh, NRG and Selfless. So uh, I guess our appetite for Counter-Strike tonight has not quite been wet, uh, really. Just waiting to see, hopefully, for some closer matches today. Yeah. Well, we'd like that, and uh, I guess we're going to have to find out, Elvish Guy. We should be ready to go into this game in just a second. It'll be Echo Fox up against Complexity. We're starting on train. Let's jump into the action here. We're on to the pistol round to start the match off. Complexity starting CT. Echo Fox over on the T side. We'll see what the guys are going to buy out. A few Molotovs coming out here for Echo Fox to start off the day. Let's see how they use them. Let us have a look and see. Of course, Complexity starting off on that CT side. And uh, Did I just say Echo Fox? Complexity starting on the CT side. But... We'll see how this turns out. Regardless, uh, complexity, it is their map pick, so an important one for them to pick this one up here and get off to a good start as well. Yeah, it would certainly be a good start. And it's going to rush out onto the B site right now. Shazam leads them out. Freakasoid, we follow him as well. And there we go. One frag going to go down to Surreal first up and still five alive here for Complexity. Only two or one and a half really here for Echo Fox. And if they can get this pistol round, they will. And uh, easily done. They'll also get the defuse, of course. So that was a good start here coming out from Complexity. Echo Fox into the site very, very quickly. But the rotations came out across the board from the Complexity players, and they managed to pick that one up. Yeah, definitely a good start. Echo Fox coming into that one. <laughs> Not looking so great, but uh, again, it is only the pistol round, so those things tend to go either way. And for the moment, You reckon so one or the other? One of the two well, teams traditionally wins a pistol round? Is that what we're going right, with? Yeah, yes. okay. Very nice of you to point that out. That's what I'm here for. Pistols just being brought up here by Echo Fox. Uh, a few grenades coming out for Sean Garras. The smoke and a Molotov, a flash as well. And looks like Roker's invested a little bit into this one as well. So Echo Fox don't want to go down without a fight in round number two. No, again, they're heading towards the B site, but it might be uh, a drop down towards A through Pop Dog at the moment. We can see Shazam out heading towards Ivy at the moment. And uh, Android X23 holding here. On the entry into A from Ivy, he might find himself a frag up there. If we take a look at what Echo Fox have bought, Tech 9 Utility on Sean Garaz. Rock has got himself uh, Deagle and Armor, but that's uh, that's about it. Some pistols, but nothing else to speak of. And uh, we hit the 1 minute 10 second mark here. Two players on the B site holding for Complexity 1 in a quick place to rotate. Make that 2 now only. Uh, Android X23 holding on the far side out towards A, so should Echo Fox execute onto this site with their limited utility, they might find themselves caught out, and Ape going to find the first frag. He certainly is, and finding the second one as well. Looking good so far for Complexity. There's another one for Surreal, but Ape finding three. And now really no hope in this one for Echo Fox to even get a bomb plant, which might have just been their intention, getting those mm. couple of smokes in there and seeing if best case scenario they could get the bomb down, but... Now in a one versus five for Roka, he's in a bit of trouble. He certainly is, and that was a, a really good anti-eco coming out here for Complexity. A great round number two. They don't lose a player. They board up three real rifles in the form of those N4, uh, M4s, and they'll hold on to them as well going into this round. Echo Fox, what will they choose to do? No money spent so far, and... Uh, there we go. AK is coming out now for them into round number three after getting that bomb plant down on round one. Rocker, of course, still uh, not going to be able to buy as much as he wanted here, just choosing a Diggle instead. And Sean Garaz on the Tech 9. A hey, Diggle? Yeah. Sounded like what you said. A Diggle. Hey. I like it. Anyway, Nico Fox, as you mentioned, have got a okay buy into this one. Sean Garaz just with the uh, Tech 9, no armor, so... Hopefully the rest of his team is going to be able to pull through. But Complexity at the moment have started off quite well, so they'll be feeling pretty comfortable into this one. But again, early days here. Remains to be seen whether or not they're going to be able to follow it up. Yeah, it has been a really good start here for Complexity. Obviously picking up that pistol round in a, a great anti-eco round number two. Let's see how they go into what is essentially a buy round here for, for Exo, Echo Fox. Obviously they've spent the majority of their money. They don't have exactly what they wanted, but uh, they are... They aren't the preferred team heading into this game, so you would think they wouldn't buy it unless they felt they could do something with it. They're going to split onto the A site right now, and we follow out Shazam. Freakazoid will find Def as they push out, 
And uh, from that Z connector, Surreal finds Shazam. So it's now a four on four. Quite a bit of damage going out onto Echo Fox here. Uber finds one, might find a second. No, he gets uh, caught out by, the, by Sean Garras. And uh, the bomb plant going to go down 30 seconds on the clock, but that's going to go back up now with complexity time to try and defuse this. Three versus three, but Roker down only on three HP. It's going to have to be a good hold here for Echo Fox if they want to keep control of this A bomb side. And Surreal starting off quite well. Frost goes down. And now two versus three. Sean, it's all down to him in a one versus three. He's got the first, but he's been dropped down to 17 HP and he doesn't have any armor to work with here. He's going to have to hit a quick headshot onto Surreal, which he does. And now this is an entirely winnable situation. Ape, it's so tough for him. He has to tap that bomb, but oh, it's all down to Sean Garras. If he plays this right, which he quite almost does, in the end, though, Ape is going to be able to quick pick up the round. He got close, but unfortunately, close is not good enough. Complexity pick up the third round. Echo Fox still with uh, some money here, should they choose to force. Let's see, maybe they'll go uh, Pistol's Armor. We'll see what they choose to do. But three good rounds, or two good rounds and a, and a round win, I suppose, here coming out for Complexity. And uh, it's a good start for the CT side. That's what they want to do. This round, no AWP we will, will be seen, but still five rifles and plenty of utility. The bomb going up towards Ivy, maybe a split onto A with four coming in one direction. Android X doing a good job of holding off the Ivy area, but there's a couple of entry frags there for Echo Fox, so potential to get into this A bomb site. Another one goes over to Sean. It's a 1v2 for Freakazoid and Definitely a winnable situation. He has got the bomb and he's got plenty of time to work with, but going up against an AK and an M4, it's oh, going to be tough. Look at this. He spotted the head of Surreal and now picks up the M4, but looks in the wrong direction. Eight once again, clutching out a 1v1. Four on the board now for Complexity. Yeah, he got halfway there. A little bit of unlucky, maybe not to be checking the Z connector, but he had no utility, so it was going to be difficult either way. 4-0, the score. Complexity going to be buying up an AWP onto Surreal. Shazam going to find one of his own here. And uh, still, the economy for complexity, even though they've won all these rounds, isn't amazing. Uber on the tech, uh, sorry, on the uh, on the CZ even this this round, and uh, that's going to help as well here for Echo Fox as Shazam, uh, Shazam even finds it surreal straight up AWP onto AWP. Def is going to start off there onto Shazam as well. So back to a four v four and complexity once again, looking pretty good into this round. The AWP in the hands of Uber, as of yet, hasn't had a huge impact, but definitely something that could come to the fore. Roker is going to be able to take him down, though, so that's a good result for Echo Fox. And again, they find themselves with a the player advantage. Whether or not they're going to be able to utilize it remains to be seen. Echo Fox going to be getting a one-for-one -one trade there. Roker does take down Android X back to a 3v2. So still the player advantage favoring Echo Fox. Frequizide just sitting outside the smoke here. Potential to burst down Ape. Should he just choose to fire? He gets flashed out, but gets the kill anyway. Def should trade him. He does. Can he find the other? He does as well. Very well done. Roker goes down. And now Def, the last one alive up against Frost here. He gets the frag, gets four frags for the round, and keeps his team in the lead, uh, a significant lead, 5-0. and zero. Echo Fox now at maximum losing bonus, and... Uh, it's going to give them plenty of money to work with. AK is looking like the buyers coming out for them. Complexity, even though they've won five straight, we can see Uber stuck on that Mag 7. Surreal, no AWP for him this time around. He's going to be on a FAMAS. So a less than ideal buy coming out for Complexity. They would love to find this round and lot to not lose too much. Echo Fox, though, want to get something on the board. They definitely do. Roker able to start off there onto Ape. So again, a player advantage here for Echo Fox, but it's been nullified straight away. Uber and Surreal finding one apiece. Def also chiming, chiming in. And really, Echo Fox are just falling apart. They keep getting they keep getting early advantages and just throwing them away. Yeah, that was a, a great push coming out there with the Mag-7, finding a frag and, and coming in, flanking them. Def finding that last frag of the round on Sean Garaz. Now 6-0, the score, complexity starting off so strong. And Echo Fox need to, uh, need to find some rhythm here, need to find something a little bit different because it's not going how they planned. Definitely not. In this round, probably not going to be the one that they'll be able to find that because they're just going to have pistols and armor. Complexity, on the other hand, will have a pretty much a full buy. Yeah, just Echo Fox, I mean, it's not even like they're doing anything 
badly. Like, they are getting those picks that they need early on. It's just they're not following up on it. So maybe if they can just slow things down a little bit and, and utilize that initial pick a little bit better than uh, just charging into the bomb side and getting picked off one by one. Let's see what, how they want to use these Tech Nines, this Deagle. We'll see a stack coming out towards Ivy. But Uber and uh, Android both here ready to go once again to try and cut off Echo Fox if they try and push onto the A side from there. It looks like we might get one from A main, one from uh, Pop Dog, and three through Ivy. That, that appears to be the plan at this point in the game. One minute five on the clock for Echo Fox to find a way onto the site. Nothing coming out from either team as of yet, but uh, Echo Fox is going to start to need to find a way onto this site as the clock ticks down. They still have a decent amount of time to work with here, but the utility used from Complexity has been pretty good, holding them off for as long as possible. And Echo Fox with only maybe about 35 seconds left to get into this site once that smoke fades. Things are not going to be so easy. Surreal with a FAMAS. Freakazoid pokes out, but Android finds one frag. Freakazoid takes out Surreal. Android goes down to Rocker. And now it's a three on to four here, Elfish Guy. A very tagged up Echo Fox across the board. Uber finds one. This is a good spot to find a second as well. Ape picks up one easily as Frost goes down. Shazam does get Uber. Ape picks him back up. And now it's a two on one. Shazam, the last one left alive. He gets cleaned up. 7 0 now in the score. Echo Fox able to buy into the next round with a better buy here. They've saved up some cash, and uh, they need to get some frags right now. This needs to be it. They need to win this round. Yeah, and they need to win a lot of subsequent rounds as well because already seven on the board for Complexity is a pretty good CT start. But, uh, I mean, definitely seven is not good enough for Complexity here. Although, they, I mean, they've put themselves in a great spot to, to come up with a pretty big first half here. And Echo Fox, as you say, they need to pick this one up, and they need to definitely come up with a probably three or four rounds in a row here to get themselves back into this first half. Again, the A site looking like the site of choice here for Echo Fox. They have a few more weapons to work with this time. Rocker finds a frag, going to push through from Ivy and might find a second. He does. Surreal goes down. This is a good start. They're onto the site. Is that a third? It is. Three kills now. And uh, Freakazoid going to find a fourth for his team. That leaves Ape. Ape goes down. They keep four alive. They keep the AWP. And they get one round on the board. Echo Fox maybe finally turning up to this game. Well, look, complexity in terms of their economy, it's not looking that great. They've been losing a lot of players throughout all of these rounds. So they're really not going to have a good buy heading into this one. And at best, it's going to be a force. It seems that just the scout going to come out for death and just some pistols for the other guys. So really just a half buy here just to give themselves maybe something to work with, but really not investing all that much money into it for complexity. So it should be around for Echo Fox, but that's a great start from Def. Taking the headshot onto Shazam. He finds another one onto Roka. And all of a sudden, Echo Fox looking very, very vulnerable now. They are. Sean Garris coming up here in a good spot, though, maybe to do some damage. He pushes through. Freakazoid finds Ape. Sean wants to pop down into Pop Dog and uh, maybe pick out onto this A site. We can see that Surreal has pushed all the way up behind one of the trains and... Uh, Potentially in a position to get caught out here if he's not careful. He's looking through the smoke. Will he find Freakazoid when the smoke dissipates? Or will Freakazoid find him? Surreal has found himself the orp, so definitely something in this round now here for Complexity. Def, I mean, if he can continue playing like he has just then with the scout, it'll be tough for Echo Fox to get into this A-bomb site. But it almost feels like next kill is going to win the round, and that way it's going to go in the direction of Complexity. Surreal does pick it up, does get traded out there by Frost, but still it's a three versus two in the favor of the CTs. Def just misses the head there of that T jumping around on the train. And Sean Garris is gonna find Android X in Pop Dog. So now back to a 2v2, potentially a, salv a salvageable situation for Echo Fox if they can get this frag. But in the end, Def is gonna find another one. And now it's a one versus one. It's all down to Sean up against Def. It's the AWP versus the Scout. Both players very low on HP. 12 for Def, and he's getting rushed down by this Tech-9. In the end, he's not going to have enough to clutch it out there against Sean. Gets him down to 13, but Echo Fox pick up another round. A shaky one, but still. Yeah, a definitely a shaky one. That bomb plan at the end will, will be helping their economy. However, complexity, if we take a look at their buy, looks like they're going to go one Scout, one AWP. And... Um, limited other good weapons, I suppose. I don't mind the UMP, but it's certainly not not that M4. And um, they're going to four stack over towards the A site once again. Just Ape over towards B. 
And a B push wouldn't be bad here for Echo Fox. They've gone A several times now. We haven't seen too much B action coming out from them since their first few failed attempts with uh, with pistols and armor and whatnot. So, Ape here in a position to try and hold these guys back. We can see that Sean Garris is just trying to keep the guys that are on A site over there for the moment. Are they going to rotate back through Pop Dog? That's definitely a potential. But if they do, it's the site with the most players on it for complexity. Definitely is. Echo Fox at the moment, as of yet, undecided as to which site they're going to be heading to. And it does seem like it's going to be that A-bomb site. We'll have to deal with uh, Def with the AWP this time, so we'll see what damage he can do, considering the damage he was able to do with just a scout last round. It's going to be a difficult prospect here for Echo Fox, but at least they've managed to drop Uber down to 16 HP, so he's pretty much an easy kill for Echo Fox if they can get a couple of shots in his direction. And eventually we will see Echo Fox start to make their way onto this bomb site. Yeah, looks like it's going to be an A push coming out from Echo Fox, and they're ready to go. One player has rotated from complexity over to B. Freakazoid finds Surreal Death, took down Rocker, and Freakazoid will get a second there. Android goes down now with two onto three. The bomb going to go down here. Uber and Ape both on the wrong side of the map. One coming through Zed, one coming through CT. And um, the T player is going to drop back to some good post plant positions. They're all nice and safe and comfy. I wish guy I'm behind the comfort of these, uh, the, the safety of these trains even. Yeah, definitely looking like Echo Fox starting to come back into this one after that little bit of a slow start. But now this should be three on the board in a row as Ape, the sole remainder for Complexity, is going to go down there. Good couple of kills from Shazam. But yeah, three on the board now for, com uh, for Echo Fox and Complexity going to be forced over onto the eco round here. Like I said, Echo Fox, they needed to find three or four in a row to get back into that, uh, yeah. that T-half. And, well, if they can pick this one up, which they should, they've definitely found themselves in a pretty reasonable position. Double up setup though. That's a little interesting on the T side, but I guess it's trained, so we can make use of that. Yeah, lots of uh, long lines here on, on, on the map of train. And uh, a very good buy here for Echo Fox Complexity, as you said, on that Eco, CZ, Steagle, USP. And uh, they've pushed quite a long way up into Brown Hall's Frost. We'll find the first frag. Def goes down. Shazam in a good spot to pick up a frag there. Android goes down as well. It's now three onto five. And Complexity, you would think, should get cleaned up here. The bomb, which way does it want to go? Either side would work. Probably A is safer right now. Going down through Pop Dog if they choose to. Surreal, the only player over there to do anything. And he's going to drop back to Z Connector. The bomb through Brown Halls. And that will mean that Uber the last man standing on the B site. He is, but uh, we'll see what he can do. He's got full HP and a CZ to work with, really. Well, probably not the best situation for him, and he's going to be taken down there by Sean. There is a trade out as Sean goes down to Surreal, but still a four versus two in the favor of the T side. Again, looking pretty good here for Echo Fox. As long as they don't lose a couple more weapons here, they'll be pretty, pretty happy with how that uh, anti-eco has gone for them. Just waiting for that bomb to go down now, but eventually Roker will be managing to plant that. And, uh, well, just the USP and the CZ to work with here for complexity. Not a great situation. An easy kill there for Shazam as well. And the final one closed out by Roker. It's now going to be five on the board there for Echo Fox. Shazam Four? actually came out with Four a couple of um, couple of good USP shots there. I think he traded out one at the start. Um, combined with Uber's uh, CZ frag or damage coming from that ZZ. And then a uh, bit of damage there at the end onto the AWPA. But there's only so much you can do mm. with a USP, no armor. So 7-4 uh, now, the score heading into round number 12. Echo Fox starting off very, very slowly here. They've now picked up four in a row. Complexity able to buy into this round at AWP. Four M4s as well for them. The A site already. Echo Fox are right on top of this. Frost pushing through the smoke. Will he find death? He peeks out, but he gets found out. Sean Garez gets two, and now it's a three on three. The bomb ready to go down, but Uber in a good spot to find a frag. He gets one. And uh, the bomb should be planted in uh, in a second, you would think. Yeah, not yet, but... Uh, no, waiting. Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough because of that player in Ivy here for complexity. If he can drop that bomb planter, it could be difficult for Echo Fox. But no, they do get the bomb down okay. Still a difficult situation here. Two versus three for Echo Fox to hold off these uh, retakes, or this retake from 
for CTs. And there's a few utilities for both sides to work with. Android X is looking like he's going to be able to pick up Sean Garris there. But in the end, Ape is going to get him. Traded out straight away by Shazam. And now a 2v1 for Shazam to work with. Both players on 19 HP. Might be not a bad idea to pull out the pistol. But when you can hit a shot like that, then why not use the AWP? In the end, closes well. it out with the pistol. And there you go. Echo Fox clutching out in the 1v2. And now five on the board. Things are really starting to heat up in this first half. They are two, two great frags there coming out for Echo Fox in the end. And... Uh yeah, 7-5 now the score. Three rounds to work with here. If they can make this 8-7 after being... What were they? Were they 7-0 down? Yep. So uh, if they can pick up eight in a row, looks like they're at least going to pick up six here because this isn't a very good buy coming out from Complexity after that last round. Yeah, look at that. Lost to seven straight and picked up five straight here. Surreal trying to do damage with his Deagle from range, but it's a big ask. Five fully armoured, fully armed players here for Echo Fox looking at the A site. Once again. Well, Frost might be able to find one here on Android X, and he does. Ivy going to be now in the control of Echo Fox as they try to make their way onto that A bomb site. There goes Surreal as well. Already two kills on the board here for Echo Fox, and you have to think a few more will be following up. Oh, Shazam, that's a nice shot onto death. And it's just down to Ape now in a one versus five with only the CZ to work with and really no hope. No. I hope in a dream and really nothing to work with at all from Pop Doc here. They, I think, I think they might have uh, a suspicion that that's exactly where he is. This day. <laughs> all players here from Echo Fox start to surround Ape down there. Pop Dog actually just checking out that Z connector as well, but um, the bomb will go off without a hitch, and that will be seven and six complexity. Should be able to buy into the next round as they're at that maximum loser's bonus and they didn't spend all their money this round. So uh, I was going to say Ape may be able to hold onto his armor, but that is not going to be the case. Echo Fox, one round from tying it up, seven apiece here. Let's see what complexity decides to buy. Looking pretty standard, getting that yeah. AWP into the hands of Surreal at the very least. So... Complexity with another good opportunity here. And really, you have to think for Complexity, if they don't close this out 9 and 6, they haven't done well enough in this uh, first half. And to be honest, even 9 6 is probably not good enough, considering that they started off with 7 on the board to 0 for Echo Fox. So really, it's been a very good fight back in this first half from Echo Fox. But Complexity, they'll be hoping for that 9 round mark. Again, looking at this A side here is Echo Fox. And they've had, to be fair, quite a lot of success here. They have one player out towards A main, one out towards Ivy. The other three are checking out brown holes right now. There's only one player in the form of Ape over here on the B site. We can see Surreal with the AWP transfers across from the edge of Z connector up towards the back of the site. And, uh, maybe they can do something should they choose to push this. But for now, Echo Fox just, uh, just searching out, trying to find out some intel, decide which site they want to push. Had six round wins in a row, and uh, any confidence they lost at the start of this game, I suspect, is well and truly back. Yeah, well, for sure. Echo Fox are going to be feeling fantastic about this little run that they've got going on. And Complexity, uh, still on Struggle Street, though, in this round, they've an managed to take Sean down to 13 HP. So still a little bit of an advantage for the CT side, but that can very quickly change depending on whether or not Echo Fox are going to get some entry frags onto this B-bomb site. Let's see how it goes. Ape is going to go down straight away. Good entry from Sean. There is going to be a trade out as Sean goes down to Surreal and Uber, also managing to find Roker over on the A-bomb site. But the bomb is going to go down there for Echo Fox. Now three versus four, and Echo Fox getting some decent post-plant positions. Freakazoid moving very far up into the B-bomb site. Wow. He's going to be taken down through the smoke, though, by Android X. And Surreal picks up <laughs> one as well. Frost, maybe not the best of ideas to be charging through that Molotov. In the end, though, it is just going to be down to Shazam, and he's not going to have enough in that 1v2. The bomb will be defused here by Complexity. And finally, they managed to hit back with a round of their own. It'll be eight on the board for Complexity, though. Echo Fox are going to be keen to get up to seven for themselves. Yeah. A seven and eight, uh, considering how they started, would be a very good end result here for Echo Fox on the T side of train. And uh, Complexity would love to make it 9-6, considering how they started, however allowing all those rounds in a row, six rounds straight after such a good start is, is obviously not exactly what they wanted. Finally, in round 15, we see double orbs coming out for Complexity and, of course, double orbs coming out for Echo Fox. So expect to see uh, the battle of the AWPs here in round 15, our first, last Ooh. round of the first half. Frost with a good opportunity there to find an entry. Actually only drops Surreal down to 
about 31 HP, but in the meanwhile, Shazam has been making good use of that orb and does take down Uber. So, and again, advantage to Echo Fox. The double orb setup worked last time that we saw Echo Fox take it on their T side, and it's looking like it's working out here again as well. One minute 17 remaining on the clock. The bomb over towards the A site right now. Wouldn't be surprised to see an A split coming out here from Echo Fox. And uh, you can see Complexity is holding a very long way back on this A site. All of them, except for Android X23, who's pushed all the way up into Ivy. If he can find two frags, this will work. But surely they know he's here. They're going to check the corner. How does it go? They find the frag. Rocker easily takes him down there. And now only three remain here for Complexity. Five still alive for Echo Fox. They grab the bomb. They run back around the other way. And uh, still a site looking okay. Looking like the preferred site here for Echo Fox. But no, they're going to go up the back. Either it's Pop Dog or it's B. Potentially looking like a B site take at the moment. Though Roka will pick up one in Ivy. And still, the rest of Echo Fox will make their way onto that B bomb site. And Surreal just trapped here in the A bomb site essentially. And in the end, it's going to be Ape getting one before going down. Still not really enough. And Surreal will have to go for this. But there you go, 8-7 after the first half. Good stuff from Echo Fox to come back into that one. Yeah, Complexity started off that half so well. A great, great start for them. Echo Fox doing well on their own to come back into that 8-7, the end result. We're going to go to a quick break and we'll be back with all the action for the second half. This is the galaxy's easiest meal. And this is the galaxy's easiest haircut. I absolutely love it. Soylent, the galaxy's easiest meal. This is the galaxy's easiest meal. On and this arm. is the galaxy's Get easiest set. race. The galaxy's easiest meal. Team Apparel now at shop.eslgaming.com. He's gonna get the one kill in that bombing coming down to the side. FNX has to stand up. Oh, he gets the triple FNX. Oh my god, what a way to win that round. They don't have a smoke, so this orb is still. Oh! Team Apparel now at shop.eslgaming.com. 
I'm back. Now that Kingwin has partnered with ESL Pro League, you have even more of a reason to buy the skins you need. No one has a bigger selection of CSGO products. Buy CSGO cases from your favorite players and events, including the ESL Pro League case. Buy and sell skins on skins.kingwin.net. Check it. Check it now. Welcome back to our second half here between Anko Fox and Complexity Gaming. It's match day number 14 of the ESL Pro League North American Division, season number four. Now, Complexity started off the first half very, very strongly. They picked up like mm -hmm. six or seven, seven rounds in seven. a row. Yeah. yeah. Echo Fox came back. They won a few of their own. But in the end, Complexity brought back the last few rounds to get it out yeah. to a, an okay score. Mm. An okay score. Okay, eight. I don't know if those two correlate, to be fair. I think uh, at least nine for complexity would have been what they mm. wanted starting off uh, before the entire match started. But after seven and oh, they needed at least 10 or 11 to, well, to feel good. Well, you would, you would definitely have preferred that. Probably seven rounds in, they're like, oh, yeah, boys, we got this. We got this. We got this easy nope. peasy. Typing in chat, easy peasy. Yeah. With, what, two fingers? But, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Not well, in the end. I mean, to be fair, look, the the result for Echo Fox was pretty good, and the, mm -hmm. the news gets better. They've actually managed to get Ricks back into the server as well. So uh, that yeah. was what that little bit of a delay was. Yeah, Frost was getting subbed out. Yeah. Ricks coming back in. So their usual fifth here for Echo Fox is rejoining them, and that should be a little bit of a bolster for their lineup. So I'd be looking for them to close out this second half uh, with a pretty decent result. Well, of course they're going to be on the CT side now, quite a bit easier here on train, mm -hmm. and with that fifth coming in, uh, should should be. Ticking all the boxes, lining it all up. This is exactly how we want to play the second half here. Up against complexity. Yep. And then uh, heading on to Mirage afterwards as well. It's uh, going to be our last map of the evening. So, you know, if they can pick up train here, maybe get some momentum in the second half. They had an okay first half to a degree, but they've got their fifth in now. They're on the CT side. From here on out, you would like to think Echo Fox should be able to do this. Complexity, however, we say all of that. Complexity are one round up here on train. So uh, they've got the easier route in terms of rounds to win, well, yeah. but they're on the opposite side now. Does come down to this pistol round. The, the winner of this obviously going to be heading into the second half with a early advantage and a little bit of momentum, which at the moment sits, I would say, in the favor of Echo Fox. So we'll see what happens here in this pistol round. Complexity not having the best of times. Uber's going to go down. There is a trade out there, so not too bad in the end for the terrorists. And they'll try and make their way out on towards that A-bomb site, which is really... Only got Shazam anchoring it for now. There is, of course, uh, Rick's holding in towards that Z connector as well. But really, it's going to be a free bomb plant here coming from Complexity. Yeah, easily. Very easily they get this one on the side. And uh, Def will see one player out in Z connector. He forces himself back. And uh, for still alive here for Echo Fox. Let's see how they want to retake this. Android X, you can see, just holding over behind uh, Green Train. And Sean Garaz pushes onto the site. Rocker finds a frag. Surreal takes out Shazam. There's a second. There's a third. Sean Whoa. picking up two now. And uh, the defuse going to come down here.
for Echo Fox. Three players still alive. Roker there going to find two frags for him. Two to Sean Garez. And um, there you go. Echo Fox wins the first round here of the second half. CT side, the preferred side for almost any team here on train. Mm -hmm. And uh, scores are now even. Yeah, but off the back of that pistol round, you should expect Echo Fox coming into this should have a bit of an advantage. Looks like Complexity have decided to buy up some smokes here, so I wouldn't be surprised to see an execute out on towards that A-bomb site just to try and get a bomb down. Let's have a look and see. Their setup does look like it's going to be an execute, so the goal here for Complexity is just to get that bomb down and hope for the best from there. They've only really got Glocks to work with a couple of P250s, so kills... Not on their mind for the moment. Rick's ready to go with the P90 from behind the train, but he gets picked up very early. Def goes down to Sean Garez, and now it's a four on three. Oh. Do they get the bomb plant no. down? Close. It's dropped back onto the ground. It should be two more frags here for, Shaz for Shazam. He's already found two, and Sean Garez is going to find the last frag of the round. Three to, Sh to uh, Shazam. Two to Sean Garez. Nine, eight. Quite an easy anti-eco coming out from Echo Fox, but it's always fun to see the rushes and the executes coming out. Mm -hmm. Still, complexity, because of that first bomb that they got planted, they'll be able to buy into this round, so a little earlier than what could have happened. But still, Echo Fox looking pretty good here so far on the second half, and well, it comes down to this one. Complexity needs to bite back quickly. Freakazoid with only an SMG. Uh, that's less than ideal for Echo Fox, but definitely uh, the rest of the lineup have, of course, got... Regular rifles. Roka mm. might be in a little trouble if he gets rushed down here in a 1 versus 5 on the B site. Does this smoke come or does he go down? Ooh, oh, might have just spotted them out. He does get the smoke down okay. He's going to call for a rotate as well. Echo Fox starting to make their way over to the B site. Yeah, Freakazoid just down the bottom of Pop Dog here. He'll be tempted to do something. Maybe it would be uh, it would be exciting to see, but right now just going to drop back on towards the A site. Two players on B now. That Sean Garaz and, and Roka here, ready to work. And uh, let's see what Complexity do to push out onto this site. That it looks like they're committed at the moment, but a rotation is not, uh, you know, out of the cards. To be honest, Complexity just playing slow for the moment. They don't want to lose any of these AKs if they don't have to. So for now, it still seems like they're going to be heading towards that B side and. See a couple of utilities thrown in there now. The smokes and flashbangs giving away their position. Roko doing a good job of this one, holding off. Picks up two. There was a Molotov down there as well, which did a little more damage over to Complexity. It's now three versus two, but Roka still alive on the side here, jumping around on the bomb train. He'll be able to take down Ape, and now a 2v1. As we did see Android X taking down Freakasoid, but in reality, very much in the favor of Echo Fox now. That bomb has been dropped, and Shazam won't make the mistake. He picks up the final kill and 10 on the board here for Echo Fox. It'll be an eco coming out again for Complexity. So this this sort of a lead now really starting to stream away for Echo Fox. Yeah, they are starting to get away from this one. We take a look at Complexity. To be fair, none of their players are really struggling. They're all sitting between, between 10 and 13 frags. So no one's sort of anchoring at the moment. No one's keeping them down. But still... They would love to uh, be able to bring this back. It's going to be a lot more difficult difficult for them now on the T side, however. Echo Fox really seems to have their number here, defending on the train. They definitely do. Rick's holding very far forward on the blue train. He's going to find two with that P90. That's not a good result at all for complexity. Freakazoid chiming in with a P90 of his own. Yeah. We talk about double all but double P90s are even more fun, Elfish guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you say so. I always say so. Freakazoid should find the last frag here with his P90, and he does. Two frags to Ricks. Two frags to Freakazoid there on those Pro 90s. The score now 11 and 8 complexity to buy into this round. AK's armor utility. But uh, look, even their last buy round onto the B site, they did some damage. But it, they, again, they really just walked into the site there. It mm. wasn't anything stopping the frags coming out from Echo Fox. And it was just a... Also a matter of good angels coming out from Complexity that they even got as far as they did. Well, Complexity have another opportunity in this one with the five rifles set up. They've gone for a bit of a split, potentially a couple of players heading through Pop Dog there and a couple of players hang heading through uh, Ivy. But for now, they've left that bomb in towards T-Spawn and that could be potentially found out by Echo Fox. Look at this aggressive push that they've got into A-Main. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're all the way out there and they can get a sense of uh, at least where complexity isn't. So that means that uh, 
they know there's probably a couple of people over at Ivy, but they know that A main isn't isn't going to be the push right now. There's that player pushes up to grab the bomb. Let's hope for his sake he can come back around to Ivy instead of going to the A main position because uh, Rix is there with a P90 ready to go. Surreal. Now he's going to walk into a couple of these CT players. So she's having a look at that smoke, making sure there's no one in there. But of course there isn't anyone. For, mo for the moment, Roker, he needs to deal with this player on the B site. Def has got the drop on him. There you go, the B site is now open for complexity, but the bomb really not in a great position to head straight over there. And there's only 35 seconds left on the clock here, so despite complexity getting that early advantage, wow. it's going to be taken away. Sean with a nice two-man is going to be putting the advantage back in the favor of Echo Fox. As one for one comes out, still though, three versus two, an ape down to one HP. Complexity not looking so great in this one. Rick's found the frag there onto the bomb carrier as well with his P90. And now with uh, 12 seconds on the clock, the bomb... Nowhere near these two complexity players. This should be 12 and 8 to Echo Fox. Maybe if uh, Briggs can just train out that P90 for uh, something a little bit preferred. But next round we'll have to see exactly what type of bike complexity has. Maybe the P90 will be better. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be a great buy for complexity. I mean, I guess they could buy a couple of pistols into this, but... In reality, they're going to be relying on those AKs. Oh, it looks like they're actually going to force into it. The Galil coming up here for Uber and one for Android X as well. Just a Tech-9, though, being taken away for Surreal. So, Complexity putting all their eggs into this basket and hoping that they can win it. Of course, they've got a loser's round bonus going on, but uh, it will definitely be ideal to pick up the round win. It certainly is, the, and they're going to quickly push into the A side here. Surreal through the smoke. He's flashed out. He's got a Tech-9. He goes down to Freakazoid. Freakazoid might get found. He does by the end by Android. Rix finds Ape, and now it's a 4 onto 2. Uber here with a Galil. Android with a Galil. Not so great. They find one. It's now a three on two. The bomb in the middle of the site. Three players here holding back for Echo Fox. They find Android. And Shazam finds Uber. 13-8 now the score. Echo Fox with that round win. And uh, plenty of money in their bank right now. Complexity sitting at about 3,400 for the vast majority here. And uh, not looking so great for them. Yeah, definitely not looking all that good for Complexity. They will buy into this round, but again, it's not going to be a very good one, and we haven't seen the AWP coming out for Complexity in this entire second half, so maybe that's a, something that they can consider here because definitely the rifle setup's not working out too well for them. Echo Fox just streaming ahead, now finding themselves on 13, and it's getting very close to Echo Fox closing this one out, although Def with the Molotov as well is going to be able to find Roker. So an opening now for Complexity in this round. Yeah, certainly the start that they need here. The B side, all but open. Shazam holding back towards Z Connector with the AWP. He can do some work still. The bomb over towards Ivy. But we can see that Sean Garez again watching that site last time when he pop flashed in, found two frags with the M4. This time, all he finds is the end of a 7.2 7 millimeter round, Elfish Guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, that AK doing some work there. Three alive still for Echo Fox. Uber pushes through the smoke. Freakazoid is here. Just a matter of who gets the jump on whom. Maybe they think it's clear. Rick's in a great spot, finds the frag. Now it's three on four. Oh, great Shazam. shot from Shazam. Well done, yeah. Brings it back to a three versus three. Still complexity trying to make their way out onto the bomb site. Freakazoid grabs one before being traded. In the end, though, it's a two for one in the favor of Echo Fox and Surreal finding himself in a disadvantaged player situation. He's already got two frags for this round. He'll need four to close it out. 35 seconds left on the clock. So a little bit of time for him to work with. But similarly... Echo Fox have an advantage in their favor, and that is, of course, they have two players left alive here to the only one of the T side. Surreal has the bomb, but of course he's going to need to try and plant this. He's going to rotate back through Z Connector, and Shazam actually just passing the wrong way. Maybe, here we go, he's in a good spot here. They hear the noise, and the rotate will come out from, uh, from Rix oh, as well. Is he going to get this down in time? I don't think he is. Oh, might have just, but this grenade this might nade, clean yeah. it up. And there it does. So, Echo Fox will pick up this round 14-8. Now the score, it's been a much better second half here for Echo Fox. Of course, they're on the CT side. They've swapped out Frost for Rix as well. And uh, Rix finding seven frags here in, uh, in eight rounds. So not so bad for him at all. Yeah, he's been uh, looking good. And Echo Fox similarly has been looking good. So... Really, complexity need to find something to lift here. They haven't actually found a single round so far in this second half. 
So definitely things not looking all that great for them at the moment. But perhaps this could be the one as they make their way quickly onto A. Another change up. Haven't seen them go this fast straight out onto the site so far. And potentially might catch Echo Fox off guard. Android X pushing through the smoke. He's going to be able to take down Ricks. Takes a bit of damage for his troubles. But really, it's not looking too bad here for Complexity. In the end, they get the two for one. And the bomb site is open. It certainly is. Three players left alive here for Echo Fox. Two of them with AWPs. Two coming from Poddog. Sean Greer finds a frag. He might get a second. He does. The bomb plant. It has now gone down. It's a three on two. And uh, they've turned this back around here, Elfish Guy. They've got utility to work with. And a great nade coming out there onto Android X23 as well. Plenty of time on the bomb clock as Shazam goes down to Uber. It's a two on two. They need to find these frags. They're both on the side. But Android lurking behind the blue train. Maybe he'll find a frag. No. Sean Gares spins around. Gets that one. Uber the last one left alive for his team. He picks up one. The diffuse. The fake. Coming out from Roka. Will he get the frag? Fires down. He does. The spray coming out here from Uber. Wins the round for his team. He's going to get blown up. Finally, complexity pick up a round, but surely it's mm. too little, too late. It's it's still not a great situation here for for complexity because they lose all of their players in that round, and as a result, they're not going to be able to afford a, a really a full buy into this one. So Echo Fox looking much better on the weapons front. A Galil and a Tech Nine taken away for Ape and Def respectively for complexity. So again, it's going to be another difficult job for the terrorist side here in this one. Echo Fox, uh, they'll be. I mean, they're going to be a little disappointed to lose that round, of course, but uh, I don't think they're going to be too worried. Yeah, some of it was like 50-50 pushing through smoke. Sometimes you get the jump, sometimes you don't sort yeah. of thing. And uh, that's that's kind of how those quick rounds through smoke play out. We can see three players at the moment here for complexity holding out towards Ivy. Overall, Sean Gares has been holding Ivy well. Last round he wasn't particularly successful, but this time maybe he'll get the jump on them once again. Potentially. This time a bit of a slower play coming out for Complexity. And we did see the faster plays have worked out a little better for them. But uh, this time they've opted to obviously change things up. And now heading in towards Ivy. They have spotted out Sean and he's going to have to fall back off the back of uh, taking a little bit of damage there. He's going to go for the repeat though. It's a good flash from the CTs there. Echo Fox getting the first kill as a result. Sean will be able to pick up Def. I think he also spotted out Android as well. So they have an idea that there's lots of players over towards Ivy. The A split you would expect coming out here from Complexity, but they, would, they need to find a way through Ivy. And right now, Sean Garez is locking it down. Android goes down. And that leaves Surreal here all by himself. If he's going to pick this one correctly, let's see. He finds the frag. That's a good start, but still a three on four. Echo Fox with the player advantage. The bomb coming past Blue Train. Ricks to his left. Will he see him or will he get found out? Finds the frag. That's another good start. It's now, it's going to say three on to three, but Surreal goes down. Uber finds the frag. It's two on two. Ten seconds on the clock to get the bomb plant down. And Roka in a 1v1 here with Uber. Yeah, it's so tough now for Uber to win this one, and it's almost impossible. In the end, Roka does take him down with ease. And 15 on the board now for Echo Fox. It's going to be a very poor buy heading into this one for complexity. And Echo Fox, you'd have to think, should close this one out 16-9. Yeah, you would definitely like to think that will be the end result here. They've had a very good second half, as we said. They changed out uh, essentially their coach here for, for uh, their fifth. Mm -hmm. And now they're on the CT side as well. I hope Complexity can bring this back on the next map on Mirage. It's, uh, it's going to be a big ask, however, because Echo Fox has been quite convincing here. The rush coming out, Tech Nines and Armor onto the B site. They find... Roka very early, but the rotate now coming out from Echo Fox onto this site. The bomb not yet down, but there it is. Surreal pushes forward. He gets found. Rick finds a frag as well. It's now a four onto three. And uh, Def here very, very tagged up. As we follow him out, Freakazoid gets one frag. Android holding back Ape even further. And uh, he might find one. He does the one D. Going to come out onto Shazam. Sure, uh, Sean Garris finds one. Freakazoid finds the final frag there. And Echo Fox to pick up here on train at 16 and 9. It's been a good performance from Echo Fox. Sure, they let complexity start off very well, but in the end, Echo Fox, after that, that very quick stint of seven mm. rounds, have only been able to pick up two subsequent. So, really, a great comeback from Echo Fox in that one. And, well, they looked like so much of a better team. They did. Train. To be fair, we suggested that would probably be the case if you look, you know, at the score from the rest of the season. That definitely indicates that that's yep. the case. But we head on over to Mirage very shortly. Let's see if uh, Complexity can find a lead and hold it this time. 
Echo Fox probably the preferred team, but we're going to take a break and come back with our final map of the night.